What's going on YouTube? Brandon Lechuga here and welcome to 303 Streets. Welcome to 303 Streets. Um, this is Brandon Lechuga. Thanks for checking out the video. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned for current videos. Today I wanted to talk about um, what is a better vehicle to purchase, the V6 Mustang or the EcoBoost Mustang. Uh, pros and cons to both, you know, um, honestly, personally for me, I'd go the EcoBoost and I'm going to explain why. So when you look at the V6 Mustang compared to the EcoBoost, you know, um, you're roughly going to get similar sounds out of them um, the v6 might sound a little bit deeper um, so if you're thinking about putting an exhaust on the four cylinder it's like a 2.3 liter uh, turbocharged Mustang you know um, it's gonna sound a little bit more ricey so let's go over both of them really fast so you have the 2.3 liter uh, four cylinder EcoBoost Mustang making around you know 310 horsepower Good amount of horsepower um, you get about 21 in the city 31 on the highway pretty good gas mileage um, you get that quickness um, it raised weighs about 3,000 I think it was like 3,500 and like 32 pounds um, so it's a little bit heavy but still not bad um, you know it's got the, that quickness that you want um, a little bit more fuel efficient uh, smaller engine of course because the v6 is 3.7 liter um, but that's pretty much just the basics of it, you know, and it comes in a manual, so, uh, not an automatic or whatever. So yeah, that's pretty much that version of it. And then you have the V6. So the V6, um, weighs roughly the same weight, maybe a little bit lighter, maybe like 3,500 and like 26 pounds, not much of a difference. Um, <clears throat> You know, it's got the 3.7 liter engine, making only 300 horsepower, and uh, what was I gonna say? So yeah, it makes 300 horsepower, and then like I said, it's the 3.7 liter. You roughly get about 18 on, you know, city, my for gas mileage, 18 city, and I think like 25 highway. So not that great. A lot less than the EcoBoost. Uh, especially if you travel a long distance over time that will add up so um you know that comes in a lot of different variations same with the ego boost you can get the convertible which makes it lighter um <clears throat> you can get the coupe six speed manual or you can just get like the automatic you know so a bunch of different options um as you would know a lot of them cost different prices but the best part about this vehicle is um they run the 2017s run for about 26,000 new both of them so if you're thinking about getting the v6 you're like oh it might be cheaper or you're thinking about oh I'll get the four-cylinder because it might be cheaper it won't be you're gonna look around pretty much the exact same price range but if you get the four-cylinder you're gonna get better gas mileage you're gonna get um, a few more options you know you can always upgrade the turbo put a little bit big, bigger turbo on it uh, tune it to e85 do lots of different things to get the horsepower up um, you know, and you can obviously make it sound good with a blow off valve and stuff like that. But not only that, like I said, the biggest thing is you're going to get a lot quicker vehicle with more horsepower for the same price. So the V6 Mustangs, they do sound pretty good. The newer ones do. The exhaust definitely does sound a little bit more aggressive to its competitor, uh, Camaro and V6 Challenger and stuff. So the exhaust personally, I believe sounds a little bit deeper on that particular v6 muscle car um so if you're looking for pretty much just sound and you're not looking to drop you know the price of the gt or the gt 500 cobra so on so forth all that um the v6 does have a good sound so um you know you just have to weigh out your options what's more important to you for me i would rather pay the same price for a little bit more horsepower and for the vehicle to be a little bit quicker with the turbo it gives you that spool up and you get that little bit of quickness. So, um, personally, I believe that's the better way to go if you're gonna get one of the Mustangs. Um, the V6, like I said, it's nice. Um, you can put a nice exhaust on it, make it sound pretty deep and rumbly, but it just won't uh, 
be as quick as the uh, the EcoBoost stock. You know, the EcoBoost. Anytime you have a turbo on a car, more likely the torque is going to be more, and the quickness is going to be more, and the horsepower is going to be more. Even with the smaller engine, it's a 2.3 compared to a 3.7, makes more horsepower, and you get better gas mileage. So, I believe that the you know the V6 Mustang, it's great and all, um, but. If you're looking to get a little bit more power and a little bit quicker pickup on the acceleration, uh, the EcoBoost is definitely the way to go. Um, if you don't drive it a lot and you're just not really looking at spending the money on, you know, the uh, price of like a GT or anything, the V6 isn't a bad option. Like I said, the exhaust on that car does sound good. So if you're going to use it maybe as like a weekend car or something like that or don't drive it that much, um, yeah, it would make a great, you know non-daily driver and it sounds pretty good and you know do a few modifications and you can get a little bit more horsepower out of it um but if you're going to daily drive it and you're going to daily drive it 30 plus miles a day the EcoBoost uh makes a lot more sense than the V6 just because you know like I said you get better gas mileage on the highway um 26 compared to 31 it adds up over time um you know that's a gallon of gas right there. Say you drive 30 miles one way, you're only using two gallons of gas to get there and back to where, if you know if you're gonna do that with the Mustang, um, the V6 edition, you get roughly 25, 50. So if you're going 60 miles, you're gonna use about a little over two gallons, um, and eventually that will will add up. So it's just something to consider. Um, again, the EcoBoost is not gonna have a deep aggressive sound. It's a it's a four cylinder, just a fact. Letting that, I'm throwing that out there now. Um, but if you're looking for, you know, a fun, good looking car that gets good gas mileage, that's got a little bit of uh, horsepower and quickness to it, the EcoBoost is definitely something worth looking into. Um, like I said, it's a great option for a daily driver that looks sharp and that is practical. So that's just my opinion on the V6 Mustang compared to you know the four cylinder um like i said they both look identical you know same body and everything um the v6 a little bit deeper sound the four cylinder more horsepower than the v6 and it's quicker so it's just one of those things that you have to weigh out on, on your own and decide from there but that's just my opinion on it and i just wanted to give you some of the basic facts some of the comparisons uh which one i would prefer the reasons why i would prefer that one um you know like I said, the V6 does have a better rumble, but that doesn't say that the Mustang would sound horrible. It just won't be, uh, it won't just, it just won't sound as muscly. That's for sure. Um, and again, there's a lot of things you can do with the EcoBoost you, and, and the V6. You know, you can do the headers on both of them. Um, definitely, if you were thinking about it, put a little bit bigger turbo on the, uh, the Mustang, throw down more horsepower, get it tuned. Uh, things like that, maybe an intake, some bigger injectors, uh, just stuff like that. You can definitely push a little bit more horsepower out of those engines. Uh, it can definitely handle a little bit more. So just uh, just my opinion, especially if you're thinking about modifying it and uh, souping it up a little, the you know the EcoBoost would be my way of going and easier to tune. Uh, you know, well not easier, but um, yeah, I guess technically easier because once you try to do a uh, turbo system on the v6 you're adding a lot more money into it and just stuff like that so with that turbo system already kind of being built in you can always upgrade things slowly get more horsepower out of it bigger intercooler stuff like that so if you're looking at possibly upgrading uh you know modifying your car the eco boost would be a little bit easier to do again just because you got the blow off valve you can do a turbo timer stuff like that um, just tons of different things, uh, bigger injectors, uh, pff, everything to it, really. Inter I'm pretty sure I already said intercooler, but I just can't remember. Bigger turbo, stuff like that. Uh, bigger intercooler piping and everything. So it's just easier to modify once you already have the foundation. Um, with the V6, there isn't that foundation there. You're going to have to put it all there. So that's just my opinion. Um, and again, the four-cylinder makes a great daily driver. So... That's just my uh, opinion on this situation and, uh, you know, what vehicle I would choose. You know, I get asked that quite often, uh, especially with the possibility of the twin turbo uh, four-cylinder Challenger coming out. 
that's going to be uh, pretty crazy if that does happen in 2020. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give my opinion on that and uh, let you guys know where I stand. Thank you for checking out the video. This is Brandon Lechuga, 303 Streets. Like, subscribe, follow, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.